All right, so let's solve this challenge together, shall we? We've got a 192.168.00 slash 22. Why did I write this out this way? Well, similar to the slash 23. So if we come to a slash 22, we see that there are 1,024 hosts, which means we have a possibility of 1,022, right? And all we need to do is fill in the blank on the X. So 255.255.252.0. We come across, we know our first IP here, or ID, is 192.168.0.0, first address possible. Now, if we think about this, we can kind of do this mentally in our head. We can think, okay, there's probably 250 or so hosts in a network, and we've got a 1,000 or so hosts here. Well, that's going to be about four, right? Four ranges, because we've got 1,000 divided by 250. So I'm going to go ahead and go zero. One, two, three. If that's four total. We'd say 192.168.3.255. And hopefully that math makes sense. Again, 0.0.1 0 through 254, dot 1, dot 1 through 254, dot 2, dot 1 through 254, dot 3, dot 1 through 254. That equals about 1,022 hosts. Okay. Actually, I lied to you. The only two we're taking off are 0 and 255. You actually have .0 through 255, 1 .0 through 255, all the way. We're only subtracting these two. So if you do that math, that will add up to 1022. OK, so at slash 26, we've got a 255.255.255.192. Fill in the blanks, fill in the x's. 64 hosts, we got 62 in reality. And we're going to say 192.168.1.0 and 192.168.1.63. Again, if we wanted to create a second network, we could start here with a 64 slash 26. And we would start with 64 as the network ID and then 127 as the broadcast. And lastly, 255.255.255.224 for a slash 27. We've got 30 potential hosts because we got 32 minus 2, 192.168.1.0. And then we're going to do 192.168.1.31. Same thing here. If we wanted to create a second network, we could. We could say 192.168.1.32 slash 27, and then this would start at 32, and this one would end at 63. We can make however many networks within that, four to eight, I think eight, eight different segmented networks with the slash 27. So that is it. Again, as I said last video, this can be confusing, and all we're taking away here is identifying what the CIDR notation looks like identifying the base that to me is slash 24 being the most common, what you'll see, understanding what a subnet mask is and why it's important, especially in relation to hosts and the number of devices that you can have on a network and why you might see something like a slash 28 or a slash 23 or more commonly something like a slash 16. So understand again that slash 24, as you see a bigger number there or you see even you know something other than three 255s in a row, understand that the number of hosts are getting smaller. The less 255s you see on your screen, the number is getting bigger for the number of hosts. Okay, and just understand how to read this. That's all you need to take away. Again, I'm gonna provide additional resources as I provided in the last video. Go review them. If you don't understand them, you can always come to the Discord channel. You can always ask Q&A questions. This is not an easy topic to pick up, but it is a topic that I had to show you as part of networking.